Hello and welcome to another video. This is part two of the van build and today we are fitting the furniture. Hopefully we're gonna get the storage in and some drawers today. I'm just cutting in behind this plastic bit to fill the door full of insulation. We're gonna build a frame, put in the furniture. It's all custom built. Put in the furniture, hopefully get some sliding drawers. I've just got some 550 mil draw runners so that the drawers can pull out that way but I'll show you that as we get to it stay tuned you just talk us through what we're doing okay, with this well we've got 12 mil ply right. which we're making the, uh, the drawers out of uh, 270 mil deep so plenty of storage yeah. 600 by 650 so yeah. these are for the back of the van these are for the back of the van two, two good big drawers that you can use to cook on as well ideal so, so extra strength is just to put a rebate joint into each side. Don't need anything fancy for this. And then, uh, then we can glue and nail it and it'll be as strong as you'll ever need it. And have you got one that you made earlier, Blue Peter? Yeah. So there's one already rebated out. So you can see there, he's just taking that off. With the saw. With yeah, the saw. Set. So when you put them together, you get a good strong joint. And we love a good strong joint. <laughs> 12 mil ply we're using for the uh, for the furniture. Still to be glued and uh, pinned, but that is a good job, that mate. Right, this bulkhead has got a chamfered edge on it that goes all the way along and the bolts are located along the curve so it's really difficult to find where they are. So we've knocked up this little template that when you put in is flush and we know now that all our timber batten has to be at that angle. It's a chew. It said timber batten. <laughs> we've got to get that to that angle so a lot of work to do, just for one bit. Okay, so Bill's wonderful machines. Got a lovely chamfer on that, and that should. <laughs> the moment of truth. Let's remove this. Oh. Woo -hoo! Like a glove. Now the next noodle scratcher is getting it attached to it and finding out the existing bolt holes. There we are. We're in. We're in. Wrong way around. Uh, Sliders wrong. No, I can't be up wrong side. Sliders are up wrong side. Cut. Delete that. Smooth, smooth criminal. And so these will come out. Oh, it's at back. And some maybe go at the top of there so you can work on it. And we're just saying maybe have the have a uh, like a lid on this bit here, and then take two finger rolls that comes off and goes across there. Put some light beading on there. Yeah, that's doable. We're going to get that fixed down, and that's a day's work. Sorted. I think that's it for today then. So, uh, yeah, well, imagine this is screwed down, and that's it for today. We've uh, we've almost lost another roll of insulation in here, because once you start jamming it up with digits, you can lose a lot. Um, we've created a vapour barrier. We've been working on the... The timber for the bulkhead there, which is at Nick's foot, that's taken a lot longer than we thought. And Bill's knocked this up, so it's tiring work, it's tiring work. Bye! Can't get back in! Right, we're back. Today we're going to try and get the rest of the timber work done. It's a big ask, but with Bill on board, there's a good chance we'll do it. These are the drawers that have already gone in. And we're going to start coming down here. There's going to be storage in there. 
so access here and at the top there's going to be a drawer here that will pull out this way this is where i'm going to put my fridge we're going to make something that comes just below this window the fridge here a drawer on top of the fridge and then i want to make three drawers where i am here um just for extra storage so storage is key in this i want I just basically want somewhere where I can store stuff and sleep. I'm not too fussed about having a cooker in here because it's such a small van I don't really want to be doing much cooking and I've got all my camping stoves and stuff that I can pull out the drawers at the back we'll put a table over that and I can do my cooking out there if needs be. And then there'll be cushions that go across here and down both sides and the backrests will then go into the middle here to create the bed. So we need to come up with a a thing that comes out here maybe like on a hinge and that'll support the bed we're gonna have a table in the middle the top of the table will come off and we can put that down here to fill this space and then we can put the cushions over that as you can see it comes out a little bit which still gives ample room to get in and out with all my clobber so this is the first bit of the finish that we're putting in it's like a walnut MGF composite so it's just the job matches in with the floor First bit. Look at that. Right, coming out now. That looks well, doesn't it? It's gonna look smart. Job's a good one. Job is a good one. Nice, so uh, it's gonna have the same on the sides here. It's come all the way around. Around the front on here. Uh, obviously, there's a drawing here, so that's that's all going to match. It's all going to be the same finish. So you can put what handles on there you want. We're going to trim this off on the bottom here, so it's, you're not going to lift the uh, lino every time you're in and out. Yeah, bit of an oak so. trim on there, and then summit to come out here to put the bed on. That's right. We're going to have some some contraption, whether it's a lift up flap in front of the drawer or something that swings round. We'll, we'll make that up as we go. Yeah. We're back, it's freezing cold. Let me show you where we're at so far. We've got this here, which looks like it's not straight, but it's because the window tapers off this way. Everything is straight. We've got a space under here. That's where the fridge is gonna go. And on top, we have the drawers, and then this is all just storage on this side. And drawers of varying sizes. So plenty of space in there. And that's all attached to this frame, which is then attached to the floor. But that's that so far. Today, we're gonna start making a top for this. We're gonna, well, Bill's gonna plane down some oak and then we're gonna clad everything else the same as this dark wood here. Right, the plan is now to put some 12 mil ply over this there's a lot of space down here so i want access to that because i can fit my winter sleeping bag in there so you can get one two winter sleeping bags so there'll have to be a hinge on here so we can access that and then i had the idea of cladding this and then having one door that opens this way and then this will open and that will open but all the way and we'll have some on here so that it rests. So I can use that as a work surface, a cooking surface, and then marry it up on here as well. So you've got two. And that'll open as well. And so one, two bits will open out this way and create a little cooking area outside. That's the plan.
What are you doing? Just a bit of Adam Sandler in. <laughs> uh, just mainly taking all these little wooden burrs off here so that it's not it's not all shabby when it's used as a, a lid. We've got all this in, which looks a bit iggledy piggledy. Needs a bit of jigging around, but the idea is that now these will lift out this way and give access to these side bits. And then these will lift up on hinges all the way over and be supported by the draw and that'll sit like that so you've got a work surface there you've got one there as well you can have them both out at once sit have your tea play scrabble do what you want <laughs> and now we've just got to figure out getting it all screwed in <laughs> For this project, you will need some double-backed sticky tape. Don't forget to get permission from an adult before you use knives and don't run with scissors. Right, we've got a piano hinge, which we're going to put on the cupboard slash seat slash bed at the back so that we can have the drawer coming all the way back. And so we're going to cut that down, file it off so it's not annihilating the fingers and then we're going to offer it in and just see if it works right so we've put these hinges piano hinges on outside but we, we're maybe going to struggle to get the face on so we're going to put them on the inside rebate them and see how that looks a bit more work but got to do job proper i'm just going to chisel this out rebate it so it sits flush I only want to rebate it by there, so that's like about two mil. Not just a pretty face. Yeah, I am. <laughs> so this is two ways to do it. The way I was doing it, which is taking a long time, just with chisels, and then Bill's just come over and says, this is it, the way you want to do it. This is how you <laughs> should do it. Router set up. Right, so you set your, your blade to the top of the surface you want to trim out. So that's set zero to that plate. And you can set the thickness of what you want to take out. There. That's it, set. <laughs> Just ready for doing there's me gnawing at this like woody woodpecker trying to get through all these knots and that set up ready to go in no time eh? yeah that should go if you've got all tools and know how you can make this job a lot easier for yourselves you do without having the right tool lad. exactly <laughs> exactly <laughs> after a lot of mucking about we found that this is the best way to do it. So we've put some adhesives behind this and screwed it down as well, but uh, the only screws we had come all the way through, so I'm gonna file these off and then that should be done. Let's test it out then. The idea is get your hiking pole it's a bit cut out of there. I can pull just fits fits in. Lock it off. And there's your table. Bill has knocked this up out of three bits of oak that he's planed. I'll interject this with footage of him doing that. Biscuit joints. To hold yep. it all together, sanded the living shit out of it, and now varnishing it up with some Danish oil. With some Danish oil, regarde, with fire in background. Ooh. Look at the grain on it. And then will you just talk us through what you've done to end here, Bill? What we've done is we've put a, a mitre on, and we've put a, a return on the edge to, to make it look as though it's twice as deep as what it is and it gives it a real meaty feel. Yeah, like um, one of them old kitchen, like butcher's block yeah. sort of things. So 
But if it weight, was then. that thick, it would be heavy. It'd be too yeah. heavy, wouldn't it? Yeah. But it's only that thick. <laughs> we have a little bit of a problem. Not a problem, but we're going to have to rejig a few things because. I don't know if I have mentioned, but none of us have ever built a van before. This is my first time ever doing it. And so a lot of it we're just making up on as we go. And sometimes you trip yourself up or, you know, hindsight is a wonderful thing. So let me show you. So this comes out here and this was going to be part of the bed. And originally we said we were going to have some sort of flip up thing here to help support the bed. But the drawer comes out here and it's going to be a bit of a chew. So, to save on that, we're going to extend this, which will mean that then the bed can just be there, and then we can work out this bit as we go, but right now, we're just going to take this apart and extend this. Do you mean, I mean, I'll have got, it'll mean a little, uh, a little walkway to get in, but that's fine, because once that ex that's extended, we can create something that pulls out here and has two legs on it, and then the table that we're going to build will double up as part of the bed support as well and that will cover all this middle bit in. It's important to get this right so then I can think about the cushions and what size they're going to be. So let's crack on and extend this. So this is our extension. It was up to here and we've built this. It's not all held together yet. It's just like a Jenga. But we're gonna glue it and get it all solid. go so that's extended it by this much uh, gives more room for the bed and then we're going to figure out the drawers inside here maybe coming out this way or coming out outside like that right we're going to start attaching these which will be permanent these don't lift up so i'm going to attach these now just count the sink and then bang some screws in it I've done a hole on this side for the hiking pole table leg. Where's my... Oh, there is. I'm just going to do one in exactly the same place. Just using big rig to create like a hole which guides the hiking pole into it and can also take a bit of wood if I leave a bit in here when I don't, if I don't have my hiking poles. But I'll always have my hiking poles in here so that should be alright. Right, let's see if it takes it. Over, in, find your level, lock it off, <laughs> take it up. But I get it, not everyone's going to have hiking poles, so if people are sort of copying or looking for inspiration. Not everyone will have hiking poles, but this van is tailored for me and I always have hiking poles in me in my truck, so they're always gonna be there and that gives a proper sturdy table. Cast iron waffle maker. You can hold that, you can hold anything if you can hold that. You can just have one table out and then you can still access everything in your drawer from up here, or you can pull it out still access it there's different variations you can use and it's just a good use of this which it would have just been a part of the bed and not been used so quite pleased with this little setup because look i can sit up back of here with me bro views behind the scenes with haze outdoors <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.
bushcraft technique. <laughs> Blowtorch. 101. <laughs> you can stick your flint and steel up your ass. Another piano hinge for another door top. So that's uh, that's all I've been doing really is cutting out the tops, the 12 mil ply, and attaching these so I've got access from the top. Um, there's an open bit where my jackery is going to go until I get a leisure battery, and it didn't fit in there, so I'm going to have to put another hinge on that. So that's what I'm doing now. Hang on, hide back fat. I ain't going to be able to get it, thanks. <laughs> I ain't going to be able to get it straight, straight down. <laughs> So here we are, this is where we're at. Some oak on here to stop this catching. The drawers with the antlers are all in. The oak worktop that Bill's done is in. My Jackery battery is going to go in there, but it doesn't fit, so I've had to put a, a hinge on there so we can get into that bit to drop it in from the top. And I'll have access to my plugs and stuff through there still to clad this bit and figure out how we're going to extend this and turn it into a bed and maybe utilize the table as part of the bed as well and at the back we've got the tables with the hiking poles and these open up both of them one on each side the drawers that come out as well and then we're going to hinge these either side and that's where we're at all you're doing is pulling those two legs with it over here yeah, and that's not going to fall in. It's only like five inches. Yeah. That's it, not in there though. Ah, ah. Newton, look at it. Right, so that's it for part two of the adventure, the budget adventure van build. Stay tuned for part three. If you're not subscribed already, consider subscribing. You just need to hit that little button down there. If you click the bell, you'll be notified when part three is out. Um, because I'm trying to hit a million subscribers by tomorrow so if you could all if you just do me the fit, honor of like subscribing if you're new here or if you're a regular watcher and you haven't subscribed just consider clicking that subscribe button and uh, yeah we'll see if we can get that big milli for tomorrow thanks for watching take care of yourselves I'll see you soon bye for now Bye. -bye.